feel like we've been running that generator an awful lot, so I want to see how much propane we used. This was 850 gallons full. We got good sun today, so the solar panels will take over the rest. We're bringing in almost 3,000 watts. So we do have a little hot water coming out of the garden hose. Our goal is to focus on functionality, and that means we're basically just trying to do what's absolutely necessary for us to move in and function and keep the dome from freezing. So we're focusing on functionality. The other day, our friends came and we worked really hard in the freezing cold with the snow and everything else to try to get some ropes over the dome. And that helped tremendously, but it wasn't enough. There's just this one area right between the entry and the chimney that doesn't really have any ropes holding it down and the wind is still getting under there and lifting it up. So we're gonna just try to get at least a couple, two or three. Yeah. We're literally at the end of our rope. We do have more on order. We still need a little bit more right here and over there, I think, for sure. But we have to wait till that comes in. So the days never go as we planned, but that's okay because, ooh, we have learned to roll with the punches. This morning we got the a few more ropes over the, the uh, dome to hold the tarp down and you can see the winds ripping again. It's starting to pick up. Let's see how that looks. It's definitely helping. It's definitely helping. A few more wouldn't hurt though. Uh, so we got that done. Richie got a light by the back door installed and he got this outlet installed. So now we are plugged into an exterior outlet for the camper that is protected. And we bought a weather proof extension cord. And look what came a few days early. Wow. Our Mr. Heater. 30,000 BTUs per hour, heats up to a thousand square feet, no electricity required, no outdoor venting required, safe for indoors, low oxygen safety shutoff. In the future, we're gonna use it in our greenhouse to keep it warm in the winter and so we can grow food year round. All right. Insulating the ceiling, and this is not something we'd normally do, but we need to go above and beyond to stay warm this winter. However, there is an upside to this. It will also be some soundproofing for us in the future when we have guests sleeping upstairs. Bedroom ceiling is insulated and we are ready to be toasty warm. We had to keep one bay open for the ERV pipes. That dome is heating up and what you're seeing are the tarps holding the heat, sort of like a hot air balloon, which is proof that the heat is getting through the top of the dome. The concrete doesn't have a very high R value. It's actually getting nicer in the dome than it is in the trailer, so we're hoping to be sleeping in the dome by Christmas. 
you know, some people want a uh, white Christmas. We want a warm Christmas. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Dreaming of a warm Christmas. Nice. Got this piece of repurposed rough sawn lumber from our neighbors. We're gonna use it for their, our sink. Got this uh, sink on Facebook Marketplace, right? Yeah. Oh, it does fit. I don't see any problem with any faucets or no, anything. No, it's perfect. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. That looks like it would work. So three more of those will be good? Yep, that's perfect, honey. Glue it and screw it. And then you'll sand it and polyurethane it. I can't not have things equal. <laughs> Something wrong with me. <laughs> Plumbing parts that have been saved for 15 years, right? Yeah, maybe this will go on here. This is going to go here. And then your trap, depending on where your sink goes, goes there. But I think I need more pieces, Kathy. I don't know. I'm just glad we have these. We save everything. We don't throw anything out. We might have a real flush toilet soon. We're going to have something. <laughs> I don't know how good. Look at that, honey. And then this, we got to make another hole to do that. Another hole? Yeah, because we got to come through this now, right? And come back here. True, 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 true. Yes. Yep, you're right. And it's a key to drill the holes on an angle. Oh, absolutely. Out. Well, it saves money. We don't have to buy elbows. Beautiful. And then we'll do this. So I want this to go up then. Mm-hmm. That's my, that's my pipe. Yeah, I'll put it I there. think it's great. And what do you do with that? It's going to come out of the chase, so i got to put an elbow piece on it and go that way. And then hot and cold. They're going to come down. Then they got to go through the wall here. It's getting real dark in here. So I'm going to leave it there. That's kind of weird. It just doesn't seem durable. Well, the trick is going to be doing the other one. So we got to bring it in this way. Mm-hmm. got to make another piece. But that, that'll shrink on its way. See, it's getting there. Okay. It's cold. Yeah, everything is cold. The plumber is supposed to come today and just get the hot water hookups done. So we're preparing and doing everything else. He's just dealing with everything that has to do with the boiler, the combi boiler, and then he'll have the valves in and we'll connect. So it's really nice that all these people, the electrician, the plumber, they're willing to work with us and let us do a lot of the work ourselves to save money. If I had a lot of money, I would pay to have people do it for me. And okay. they're squeezing us in, which is actually really nice of them as well. Yeah. So that is the handles for the shower. I wanted to be able to walk into the shower. The shower head will be up there, but I didn't want to have to go in and turn it on and get sprayed every time. So what we did is this little knee wall that we're building right here, we put the controls right here so we could just reach in and turn it on easily.
You did it. I did that. Nice job. I should go right in there. Oh, honey, you're the bestest. So this is the vent for the bathroom sink that I'm trying to finish because we're gonna have hot water soon. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even know I needed this vent. I thought that that vent over there was enough of a vent, but this vent has to go up for the sink yeah. and tie into that vent. All right, here's what I've been working on upstairs. I haven't taken you up here in a while. I got some ERV pipe coming across. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't interfere with my vent and my hot and cold. This is the other end of that elbow that I just finished downstairs. And we'll see if we can't make that connection with a couple of 45s. We're gonna tie it into there, dry fit everything for now. I'll have the plumber take a quick look at it. If he says, yeah, that'll be fine, then I'll glue it all up. But the ERV pipe, there's gonna be two of them. This is the one that sucks the bad air out of the house. Good to all this in here or something. 45s are just a pain in the neck. Can I let go? Yeah, let go. A quick update. The plumber was here the other day. We did get some hot and cold water pipes run all the way over there. The plumber does still have to come back and hook up the gas, but right now Richie and I are doing all the rest of the hot and cold water. Oh, and there's the bathroom sink. I stained it today. And it'll be pretty much the only sink we have. So Richie worked on the vent today. Last night, he worked on the shower controls. And I think tonight, we're going to work on the sink controls. We put the heater covers on last night because the plumber said to us that we really were wasting our time running the heat without the heater covers on. So the heater covers are on and it actually does make a difference. All right, so I wasn't crazy about the top, so I hit it with some sandpaper, and I like it a little bit better. Richie's gonna try a technique. Oh, it gives it a darker look. What do you think? I think it looks better. There you go. Nice. We're going to pre drill the holes. We are expecting a huge storm today. Downpours, 50 mile an hour winds. We're really running around trying to batten down the hatches. Richie's just trimming the pink foam because for some reason, water keeps coming in under that door and under this door. Now this one we think it might have to do with the way the flashing is done up on the roof because it's not quite complete. But we really can't figure out what it is on that one. So we're trying to solve that problem. That's the only place left that the dome is still leaking right now. We're going to go around and check all the ropes. We had ordered more rope. It's not in yet. So it could be worse. Could be snow. And we're really not ready for that. Richie bought me two stains today. Just still not crazy about how it looks. I have to decide which one I'm going to use. This is ebony and this is Jacobean. This is the ebony. I like it. Yeah, I like the burns, huh? Now the burns really Yeah, come now out. they really pop good. We are trying to get our water run here in the utility room. All right. We bought the simplest washer and dryer. No fancy dials, no bells and whistles, no electronic stuff. Super simple. And Richie can fix simple. Let's see how big the freezer is. I know, that's a concern. That really wasn't the spot that I wanted to be. I want space between the washer and dryer if I can. Right. 
So, yeah. Yeah, the pipes pull right here. Of course they do. We ran into a couple more problems. This door, this 36 inch door, cannot be used here because the freezer sticks out too far. Uh, we got a free Dutch door from my nephew. I'll strip that paint off and we'll make it nice. We'll fix it up. Good. We'll use the Dutch door here. We just got a delivery. Hopefully it's the trailer part, right? That's it. So that's it? That's the part? That's the part. It's Yay! The control, control All right, board. time Hopefully to right one. change gears and get the furnace in the camper oh, fixed. Gotta get that working right now. Yeah. All right, we have heat. It took three tries, three different parts, two different switches, which weren't it. And then finally it was like a little control panel board. And Richie got the propane heater, the furnace here in the camper fixed. So that's great. No more electric heat wasting energy in the middle of the night, which was causing the generator to turn on constantly. Boy, oh boy, does it heat up the camper much better than the electric did. And boy, oh boy, it is a total downpour today. We're living in a flood. What I'm gonna do next is come in the bathroom and stain the wood that's visible. I have no words right now. I just found a leak. It is literally pouring down above this door somehow. Well, the tarps are working on the walls, which is good, but we have a problem at every door. I mean, look at this. It's the doors, every single door. We only have three, but every one has water just coming in underneath it when it rains. And this one, Rich went out and cut the pink foam. And I don't know if it helped or not. We've got to figure this out. Wow, we had one heck of a night last night. We lost a piece of aluminum from up on the roof. It's snowing. The wind was just ripping. Blew the barbecue cover away. Mm, this side looks okay. I think we survived the worst of it. Yeah, we gotta clean up all the foam over there. What, the foam blew? Yeah, a lot of it's all over the place. Whoa. Woods is full of our foam. Oh, what a beautiful day it is, huh? Now, the only one I gotta do is this part, but I wanna wait till the sink is in, so in case I have to cut this. I'm just gonna try and get a little bit of water in the bottom of this trap just so the smell doesn't come in the house. I gotta run the pecs up to the top, make all connections up there. So they go up in there. And they make a nice curve. I mean, uh, looks good for me. I'm happy with it. I know once water starts going through it, it will then soften and sort of mold the pipe to the shape. And then we'll get it all connected there. We'll get that connected down there. We'll have a sink.
Here it is, all finished. The vent runs along this area. There's going to be a chase and switches over to three inch and goes right out the wall. We got to work on more of this today. Hot and cold and ERV. Alrighty, good morning. Busy day today. Hopefully the electrician will be here. But I wanted to show you that this hydraulic cement that Rich had put in place isn't working. So we definitely have to deal with that. The back door was literally pouring water the other day during the rainstorm. And Rich took a look at that. And that's because that was just a temporary door and they didn't caulk it or do anything special because we didn't plan on it being there for long. And what they did use is not really staying in place. So yeah, the water was just coming in the top of that just because of the way that it was installed. Again, temporary. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna go collect some foam. What a mess. Oh. Well, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. So I could think of worse things. So early this morning I started cutting the wood to frame the entry and I did that because the electrician is supposed to come today and we completely forgot that he still has to do these wires right here. So Fans working. Yay! Oh, I love it! Oh, well, that'll help keep down here warmer. So this will be great. We'll build a little custom box around it, trim it out. Yeah. I'll get some of those clamps. He's going to leave me some of those clamps and some liquid nails. And uh, when, when the time comes up here, we'll clean this up. This yeah. is great. Well, between the rain and the snow, with that piece of flashing that fell, Richie did not have a chance to get up there and fix it. And unfortunately, we got so much rain overnight that we have some more leaks. So we have a leak problem, not only on the first floor, but on the second floor. Right here, water just pouring in through the top of the wall where there's no flashing currently. That's bad, very bad. Well, we gotta let it dry out. Yeah. But the good news is the electrician was here yesterday and we have all our electrical in. We are just still waiting for a few switches but the front light works, the back lights work, the, all these outlets in the living room work. We have most of our switches. The kitchen is the only room that's not done. And the bedroom is almost done. We're just waiting for a few more outlets. There's the bathroom sink that Rich and I worked on. We're getting really excited to get that in right now because we really would like some running hot and cold water. And it'd be nice to have a flush toilet without a bucket. So pretty much all our electric is done on the first floor, with the exception of the lights. We still have to do all the lighting. Let's do that.
That's my one sucker. I gotta check the plans too and make sure I don't need another one except for in the utility room. Behind it is gonna be all my plumbing work and we'll be turning on the water soon, hopefully today. Yeah, there it is. So that's gonna come down and we're gonna drop it and make a vent coming out this way with another elbow. With a register sticking out. Gotta make this pipe longer. I got a longer piece. First things first, I'm gonna put a few screws in all of this so it'll stay and some of that chimney tape stuff and be done with these because once they're in, I can't, I can't get to them anymore. Scored it with a knife. Hmm. Count it for the lab. I just measured from the lab. Let <laughs> 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 me put some water in it. <laughs> so you don't burn it. We want it off. Ow. Is it hot? I just, got done, right? I just got done soldering that. You shouldn't touch <laughs> oh that. Oh my god. So what we want to do is we want to watch the valve down there. Why? This is the toilet bowl feed. Oh yay! So this is also off, but we just want to see once I am gonna turn everything on little by little just to okay. see. Okay. Let well, the let's air out. There's gonna be a ton of air. First. You might hear hissing. If you hear hissing, that's but a sign of leak. Where would we hear hissing? It's wherever there's a leak. Okay, so you know your job. I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna start. Feeding water. I'm gonna start with Wait, cold. what's our job? I hear water. Oh no. Oh no. no. Oh no. Okay. Off is the other way. <laughs> okay, so it's just the shower valve? Yeah, the shower valve was the other way. You have to fix those. They're wrong. Anything leaking back in here? You got a leak over here. We have a leak by the toy. Oh no, it's leaking from upstairs. Shut it off. Pouring down. That sucks. Pouring down. Crap. Turn it off. All right, Sue's catching all the water. Why is that leaking? I gotta go upstairs. Yeah. That's one of my T joints. Well, it's a T, so there's all three joints, it looks like. They're all leaking. Thank you. I don't see a big mess up here. Just a little water right here. Cause it, look, it sprayed down the walls. See? Okay, so it wasn't a terrible leak. No, it was just enough to... A little squirt. Just a squirt. All right, crack it again. Okay, All right, we're good here. Let's look around everywhere else. We gotta do the hot. Look at you in the shower. All right, I'm gonna go turn on the hot. Oh, no more leaks, please. I hear it. Oh no! The hot shower. Are they opposite? They're not even close. Something's really wrong there. We'll have to figure that out. Did you shut it? I did. Oh, wait. Hang on. I might have a micro leak. I have a micro leak. All right, I got a leak over here somewhere. We sprung a few leaks, more than one. I got that one over there. Got two, three in here. One's coming from upstairs somewhere. Jeez, I didn't expect to see that many leaks, to be honest. I did such a good job. We have a leak right up there somewhere. It's, not, it's really dark, sorry about that. I know. It's been a really long day. We've dealt with winds, leaks in the dome, leaks in the pipes, but we are finally ready and able to start getting the floor down and hopefully get the sink in. Right now, we actually have a flush toilet. 
Oh, that's like a miracle. Richie's getting the floor down now. And next up, we'll be moving the sink in. So this thing goes in here. No matter what, I always find myself in these... <laughs> Precarious positions? Positions. <laughs> it's almost 11. Yeah, but we did it. Whoa. We got hot water. Yay. Oh, and a little cold. Get the temperature just right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, honey, it feels so good. <laughs> Oh. All right. Thank you. We're on our way. This bathroom sink has been a long time coming. <laughs> piece by piece, we will get this place together. All right. Maybe late, but we have running hot water and cold water like a miracle and yay no more buckets this is like quicksand Test. look at that oh wow Mm -hmm. Slipping and sliding. 